Today we've got some exciting updates from SpaceX's Starbase. The countdown for Starship's fifth flight is on, and preparations are moving along smoothly. We're seeing solid progress at both launch pads A and B, successful engine tests, and interesting plans for booster recovery. So let's dive into all the details of SpaceX's next big step towards space exploration. First off, let's talk about the incredible progress at Launch Pad B. Major work has been completed here, setting the stage for the assembly of the Starship spacecraft, known as Ship 30, and the Super Heavy Launch Vehicle. The static ignition of the Raptor engines has been successfully conducted, ensuring they're in prime condition, with 33 Raptor engines producing a jaw-dropping 7,700 tons of thrust the Super Heavy is the most powerful launch vehicle to ever take to the skies. Meanwhile, over at Launch Pad A, preparations are also in full swing. This pad will play host to the launch, and it's getting ready for the expected return of Super Heavy Booster 12. The booster will be caught by huge mechanical arms on a specialized tower as it lands. This tower has undergone significant modernization, including the assembly of its second, third, and fourth modules, and the addition of new actuators to protect the launch vehicle during capture. Modules 5 and 6 are now waiting to be integrated, and concrete has been poured into the base to strengthen the tower and lower its center of mass. According to the FAA, the tower could be completed as early as August 15th. Now, let's look at the journey so far. Starship's first test flight took place last year from SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, but it ended just minutes after launch when the first and upper stages failed to separate. The second test achieved stage separation, but both parts exploded in midair. However, the third and fourth tests showed significant improvements, with both flights lasting much longer and meeting most mission objectives. The fifth flight is particularly exciting because SpaceX plans to attempt to catch the Super Heavy's first stage booster as it comes in for a landing. This maneuver involves giant mechanical arms attached to the launch tower that will clamp and secure the booster. Successfully catching the booster will allow SpaceX to reuse it for multiple missions, similar to how they reuse the Falcon 9. This capability is crucial for reducing the cost of space travel and achieving SpaceX's ambitious goals of manned and cargo missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Over at the production site, activities are in full swing. On July 15th, Booster 12 lit all 33 engines for a full-duration static fire at Launch Pad A. Just a day later, it was returned to Mega Bay 1. A hot stage ring was also spotted entering Mega Bay 2, which is believed to be the final piece needed to finalize Booster 12 before it's brought back to the pad for integration with Ship 30. Launch Pad B has seen extensive work recently. Tower modules 2, 3, and 4 have been stacked, and concrete has been poured to solidify the structure. The 5th and 6th modules are ready to be integrated. The FAA documents suggest the tower might be completed by mid-August, but it's more likely to be done towards the end of the month. In another development, a new, larger version of the orbital launch mount has appeared in FAA environmental assessment documents. This new OLM will likely include a flame trench, given the continued pile driving past its expected location. This will help manage the immense energy produced during launches, improving safety and efficiency. Meanwhile, at the Sanchez site, deliveries are coming in steadily. The shortened chopsticks for Launch Pad B arrived on July 17th, followed by the chopstick carriage on July 18th. The remaining tower modules, 7, 8, and 9, are getting preliminary upgrades at the site. Once the 6 tower section is stacked, the CC8800 crane 
will be reconfigured to elongate its length, allowing it to reach the final height of the tower. Ship 30 has also completed major test operations. After a massive heat shield operation, it was rolled to Massey's on a static fire stand for a final firing due to the removal of a Raptor vacuum engine. On July 26th, Ship 30 successfully static fired all six of its engines for a full five seconds, with no heat shield tiles falling off. This successful test marks a significant milestone as Ship 30 awaits the finalization and rollout of Booster 12 before heading to the launch site for stacking and final testing. The final Block 1 ships aim to perfect the heat shield design, ensuring Starship can reliably survive re-entry. The data collected from these tests will be integrated into the Block 2 vehicles, leading to a more complete and robust design. Full stack testing is set to begin any day now, bringing us closer to the fifth flight and the first ever return to launch site landing of a super heavy booster. With the potential for the fifth flight to take place as early as next month, following its fourth test flight in June, excitement is building. The Starship vehicle, powered by 33 Raptor engines, will be the most powerful rocket ever to fly. This fifth flight will not only test the reusability of the Super Heavy booster, but also edge SpaceX closer to its ultimate goal manned and cargo missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates as we follow SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.